Both the Cardigan and Pembroke Welsh Corgis are some of the most popular dog breeds for families in America. They're lively, energetic, intelligent and affectionate. But before bringing a corgi into a home with kids, safety should be top priority. So, are corgis good with kids? Let's find out the answer with us right now. Number 1. Yes, corgis are good with children. But if given proper obedience and socialization training because of their strong herding instincts, corgis can be strong-willed and nip at the heels of kids. With that said, they're not recommended for families with small children or toddlers. Though both Cardigan and Pembroke Welsh corgis are simply family pets today, they often still retain the fierce work ethic and herding instincts of their ancestors. That's not to say they are not great for kids, but can be intense if not properly trained. Number 2. High Energy Levels Corgis are, without a doubt, dogs that have high energy levels, they are one of the 15 most active dog breeds. Coming from the herding dog group, corgis need the energy to keep up with cattle on the farms. Why is this a good thing? If you're a parent, you already know how active, energetic and lively a kid can be. That being said, having a dog to match the liveliness of children can make them fantastic playmates for your kids. As you may have guessed, corgis are naturally playful dogs that love nothing more than to run and play with humans. In domestication, they're able to direct their insatiable energy levels toward entertaining and interacting with kids. If you're anything like me, keeping up with an energetic dog can be tiring. So, with the friendly help of children, you'll easily meet your corgi's necessary daily physical activity requirement. After all, a corgi will need one hour of exercise a day. Number 3. Small Dogs for Children Make no mistake, not all energetic dog breeds are a good fit for children. If you have an active large dog breed, the combination can certainly lead to mishaps. Fortunately, corgis are what we like to call kid-sized dogs. Most dogs aren't inherently aggressive and won't attack their own people for no reason. But, an energetic dog can unintentionally knock over a child with little effort or even grab man's butts. All it takes is one accident to send a child crying. This is where corgis make the ideal playmate. Weighing between 22 and 30 pounds, the corgi is without doubt a small dog breed. Sure, they're energetic dogs that may jump on a familiar child out of excitement and joy. With a well-trained corgi, you can rest assured that they won't cause much harm. Number 4. Affectionate Corgis for Kids Both the Pembroke and Cardigan Welsh Corgis are affectionate dogs. If given a safe home environment, they'll be loyal and loving to their owners, including kids. Corgis are fantastic companions for children and adult alike. There's a reason why Pembrokes are consistently in the top 20 dog breeds list for families in America. It's their ability to love that makes them such attractive options. However, if you do decide to bring home a corgi to your household, there are certain things to consider. Making the child-dog relationship successful requires a bit of work on your part. Only then, will corgis thrive with children in the home. Number 5. Pitfalls of Raising Kids with Corgis Not all corgis are the same. Some are naturally gentle around children, while others are a bit more aggressive. But as a parent, it's worth looking into the potential dangers and difficulties of raising kids with corgis. Here's what you need to know. They're likely to herd small children as they may resemble livestock through their actions. This type of behavior is hard to avoid. 
It's their instincts, after all. However, it's still possible to suppress this instinct with the proper obedience training and socialization. Corgis are not the quietest dogs in the world. In fact, they're actually very vocal dogs, making them less than ideal for sensitive young children. If your child is easily startled or scared of loud noises, then corgis may not be ideal. If you're a brand new parent, you have fresh knowledge of how sensitive infants and toddlers can be to loud sounds. That said, corgis are not a good fit with babies. The corgi's bark may be the fastest way to send your infant into tears. Bottom line is, if you have a kid in the family, I would not recommend any herding dog breed, including either corgi breeds. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe Corgi Planet and click on the bell to remind about latest videos. Thanks for watching.